My dad has been affected by cancer. My aunt Nancy was affected by cancer. Two of my uncles were diagnosed with cancer, which eventually took both their lives. He's had to get multiple surgeries in order to remove those cancerous tumors from his shoulder, so he's currently recovering from those. He's hooked up to both an IV and a pump every day, so it's a big challenge to see him have to show so much weakness. Watching the strongest person in your life have to show that weakness is um, a big challenge for me and my whole family. So someone that was really close to me four years ago passed away from cancer. Her name was Gail, and she was a really good neighbor of ours. Like, we were really close. And she passed away from brain cancer. Before that, she had lung cancer, and she had survived like her vote with lung cancer. In January of 2016, my father was diagnosed with stomach and liver cancer. My mom passed away from lung cancer in 2006. And that really affected like our community because like she was such a nice person, and she was like really caring and giving. We go to her house sometimes and have supper, and then. Um, she passed away, so it really had a big impact on the people around her and her family and community. So, um, I think we had known before that, that that something was was wrong. He'd been losing a lot of weight. Chemotherapy, so surgery, and so we went through a variety of chemotherapy regimes over the course of a couple of years. First was fairly effective, and then kind of lost its effectiveness over time. So really, for two years, I saw my mother. Their whole lives became visiting the hospital three times a week until fall of, of this past year, so the fall of 2017, and so he had an appointment with his oncologist, so I went with him and, and mom and just got the news that he was palliative, right, that there was really nothing else that they could could do. Next month or so, he, he really went downhill, and but in the end, for, for us, the experience ended with my father passing away in February. She got sick and died very quickly, and then three years later, in 2010, my dad passed away from cancer of the esophagus. So both of those cancers were smoking related and certainly I was affected because I don't have my parents. My parents won't see my, you know, they didn't see my children graduate from high school. They won't see my children get married. My grandmother um, was diagnosed with throat cancer. Um, when I was a little child, probably in grade two, my mom was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Uh, I've lost my, I lost my grandfather in 2014. My mother-in-law has uh, cancer and she's She's currently losing her battle. She, it started as uh, breast cancer and then metastasized to her lungs, affecting her pleural membrane. Now it's metastasized to her brain. The biggest impact is that Sean and I, my partner, you know, have, are starting a family. The biggest impact is that she won't be part of that. So she had to get the thyroid removed and then she was in quarantine for seven days. Uh, so that was really hard on our family. When seeing her struggle through all that, having to go through their struggles as a little kid, not really understanding what was happening to my mom. I really had a hard time with me and my sister. She, she passed away and it was really hard on me because really close with her when I was young. I was affected a few years ago. I lost my best friend to cancer. Three years ago, my grandmother lost her battle with cancer. My aunt was diagnosed with breast cancer. She underwent surgery and is currently going through chemotherapy. Every week, my family brings meals to my cousins as my aunt is unable to cook meals for them. It's really hard to see my family go through this when only a few years ago, we experienced a death that changed our lives forever. She had leukemia, and I also lost my grandmother who meant the world to me. And that was hard on me because that was the only person my mother had left. So it really affected her and she couldn't sleep. And losing my best friend, She was originally diagnosed with lung cancer. She started to lose her hair and she lost a lot of weight and she just didn't look like herself. And then it spread to her brain, so she didn't really act like herself anymore. It was really hard for me to watch my dad lose his mom that way because no one wants to see someone they love go through something like that. When I was 9 or 10, my mom was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer. I guess I didn't really know exactly that she had cancer at the time, but I did know that she was very sick. Six years ago, my mom had breast cancer and she had to go through chemotherapy and radiation therapy. My aunt was diagnosed with breast cancer. I'm really close with her. She is like my second mother. I remember her being sick at home and I remember visiting her hospital and that sort of thing. My mom fought stage 4 breast cancer and beat it and she's still rocking her today. Um, so I feel like it's something that can be, you know, you can 
challenge it. It was hard for me to watch her lose all of her hair because she looked like a completely different person. But she had a lumpectomy which removed the cancerous tumor and she's all better now. When we learned she had cancer, I remember looking at her face. She was shocked but she was still like trying to smile at my cousin and me. The only thing she said was like, be okay. She went through chemo and radiation. She lost her hair, she lost her eyebrows. It was really hard for me watching her go through it. I remember one time my cousin and I were in my house. I was sleeping. She I like I noticed she was crying, so I went next to her. She asked me, Do you think my mom is gonna die? I can't even explain how I felt in that moment. The first thing that I told her was we will fight this together. We will do whatever treatment it takes. We held on to the hope every single day and like in this situation, you gotta make sure your family is okay and totally be there for the person this is happening to. But now, my relationship with my aunt is so, like, it's so much stronger and I'm so grateful she was so brave and overcame cancer. I was affected. 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 We are affected.